Hey everyone, welcome to this week's energy forecast. I'm Christine and I'm just clearing the space here. This is for the week of April 11th. Wow, I feel like time is shifting rapidly. I know I'm feeling exhaustion and just right now I'm picking up like mental, like that kind of sighing. A lot of you have had long, tough weeks. It feels like the weekend just went by in a blur too. Literally, it just felt like Friday. And now it's, we're entering the work week. I'm filming this at the time, um, it's a Sunday. So it's a time, it's about to turn into the work week. Uh, quickly before we get started, just a um, very brief um, astro overview, astro recap of what's going on this week. First and foremost, we have the Libra full moon coming up on Saturday, April 16th at about 2.55 Eastern Standard Time, New York time. <laughs> And this moon, wow, happening in the season of Libra, it's polar opposite sign. It is going to focus on romance, relationships, um, things that are growing, fertilizing, and things just coming to fruition. And you may feel a lot of things either culminating, things coming up, where you are going to finally know what decision to make, whether that is to release or to simply keep going. Aries and Libra, like I said, are polar opposite signs. Aries focuses on the first house, which is self. It's about asserting yourself and your needs, what you, your, not only your needs and what you need, but your boundaries. Libra, on the other hand, is uh, ruled by the seventh house, which is all about relationships. It's the other. And so it's all about balance and compromise. And I am a Libra, sun, Libra rising, and I have tons of other placements in Libra, and I have an Aries sun, sun sign, sun like a kid. <laughs> so I, I, I feel the dynamic. It's almost like a magnet that doesn't want to stick together at times. So this moon may particularly, excuse me, this full moon may particularly focus on things centered around relationships, not just love romantic ones, even though because Libra is ruled by Venus, those are some of the more t um, highlighted types of relationships that are going to be um, you know, focused on for this full moon, but it could be other types of relationship dynamics too. Uh, it's all about the roles you play in them, um, whether these relationships are serving your needs and really asserting your own boundaries, but at the same time, making sure that you are able to balance and compromise. But with the um, Aries sun in opposition, in opposition to the full moon in Libra, in this sign, it's also about not over compromising yourself. So be really careful of co codependency, uh, blurred boundaries, enmeshment, and making sure that your needs are met. And also too, this is going to be about re-examining, reassessing relationships, in particular romantic relationships, love and that sort of thing, and whether or not they align to where you are going. That's a big one right now. So many of you are going to be releasing relationships and are coming to that decision leading up to the full moon this Saturday. And these are where epiphanies, where ideas, where choices often arise. We also have Mercury going into Taurus to, uh, on the 11th. So by the time this recording is out, it'll be the 11th, Monday the 11th of April. And so we're going from Aries to Taurus, which is Aries is, you know, make a decision now, um, no need to ponder, and Taurus is more slow moving, it's an earth sign, it's more about taking a common sense grounded approach in the way we think and communicate. And so things may slow down a little bit, some decisions may come to a halt and not be as forward moving or quick deciding as they were when uh, Mercury was in Aries. And then we, like I mentioned last week, we have the Venus in Pisces, and because of the full moon coming and its focus on romance and relationships, be extra careful about some of the decisions you make because um, Venus being exalted in Pisces, it's a very comfortable sign. It likes being in Pisces. It's particularly, um, it's like a romantic, very affectionate, it's dreamy, poetic. I almost think like philosophical, romantic philosophical type of science. So, um, sometimes what we have in our head and what's actually happening can get blurred. So be really careful on that. 
make sure that what you are dealing with, what you're seeing is an illusion and not an expectation in your head or something that you uh, conjured up. So moving ahead, let's get started into the weekly reading. I feel like a big release is coming. Airy season has just taken us along. <laughs> I feel like not just for a ride in a taxi cab, but a ride in a speed car. I don't know if you all can relate. I just feel like we're already midway. It'll April 11th. We're midway in the calendar here already. I'm just like, wow. The energies are fast moving. I feel like last week, it was especially an exhausting week. A lot of things were just coming fast. And I feel like this week things are slowing down a little bit simply because of the full moon energy, the lunar energies. Um, and it could be emotional, but we, we also had the moon in Cancer. And so it could have been an emotional time too. And up to the release, it tends to be. So I'm using the Ancestors and Angels Oracle. I have a few decks. I'm gonna to try to keep this relatively short, but when I say that, it's always longer. So we will see how it goes. So I'm calling our ancestors and angels. What is the week going to look like for us? What is the energy forecast for all of us? What guidance could we use going forward, especially with the full moon? And the card went down. Okie dokie. <laughs> Look at this, Water Guardian. This is absolutely gorgeous. I've never gotten this card and I'm recording with my phone, so I'm looking all over the place. My apologies, look at this. Hold on. Water Guardian, connect with your emotions. I, I feel like a lot of you are going through, I already get it, breakups, releases of friendships. I'm just getting breakups to solutions. A lot of you are making final choices to leave romantic relationships to leave those types of relationships behind but also a lot of you are releasing friend groups a lot of you have a shit time to say look at this water and I feel like the bubbles there's a lot of things bubbling up a lot of you are going to cry this full moon maybe leading up to it a lot of you are going to experience a lot of emotions a lot of things that you've kept bottled in so I feel this week it's a time to really make space for yourself and your emotions and i'm not sure about you all let me know down in the comments 